Some of you may want to do some international traveling. And in the time of COVID, it is kind of complicated when it comes to getting the right kind of clearance, um, especially with your COVID test results. So we have a recommendation for all of our viewers on what they can do to simplify the process, at least when it comes back to the United States, but I know that this works in other countries as well. So we are introducing this Binox Now COVID-1 home test. It's cheap and it's so fast easy to use yes this is honestly an affordable option for anybody that wants to have a very quick and easy way to get the results it's 25 dollars per test and you literally get your results in 15 minutes yeah actually you can buy this one and you can order this at in a at walgreens mm -hmm. walgreens but they usually come come in a mm -hmm package of six mm -hmm. for $65. So today guys, we are going to share the step-by-step -step procedure and how we did this Binox COVID test kit from Canada, right? From Canada, from Canada, to, Canada the US. to the US. We had to have some kind of results saying that we were negative and this is a rapid home test that is allowed, at least it was allowed at the time of our travel. And again, very affordable. And if we were to try to find a, a place in Canada to do a it similar kind more. of test, it was $65 a piece. Mm -hmm. So this is a far better option. Um, it, it just, again, it depends upon the countries and what they allow. Um, Canada was more stringent and they required a PCR test. Uh, the United States did not require that. And I know other countries will also allow for a rapid home test. As long as you have negative result, that's all they really care about. So just pay attention to the country's protocols. Yeah, do and, your research first. <clears throat> yes, but um, if they will allow for a rapid home test, I really recommend this. It's very easy to do. It's, it's it only affordable. takes 15 minutes. Honestly, it was it was very very easy to do. First <laughs> is you have to download an app in your phone. It's called mm -hmm. Navica. Mm -hmm. Okay? Navica or Navica. <laughs> <laughs> so download the app and then make an account. You click I need a test. Mm -hmm. I need a test. You scan the barcode uh, or the QR code on the on the box. Where is mm -hmm. it? It's, it's here. here the top. It's, it's here. It's, it's okay. Backwards you have to right scan now. this. Scan this um, QR code. Do not open the box. <laughs> it Never. Makes it very okay? plain. Do not open. It's, do not, do not open the box until so. <clears throat> instructed. <clears throat> yep. And then you have to go back to that emed or emed that com on your desktop but actually we did not use our computer you we can just use your phone yeah we just mm -hmm. use our mobile phone click start testing it will ask information from you like mm -hmm. which state where you live in after that you log into navica <laughs> again and enter your email and then your password and then it will ask you several questions like do you have an open test available mm -hmm. okay they have to make sure that it's, it's not sealed. open mm -hmm. it's sealed and then make sure that your hands are washed yep. mm -hmm. or, or sanitized and dry before mm -hmm. do, doing the test you will be asked to present your id mm -hmm. okay your you state id put it up to the camera mm -hmm. really close there will be a person on the other end and they're just checking in and making sure you're going through the standard protocol. They're verifying who you are yep. and making sure that who you are is, is truly who you are. It's a it's safety precaution and um, security. And then um, after that, um, after you've gone through all of their other questions that they're going to ask you, they they ask you to you know show me the QR code. Mm -hmm. Um, 
they ask you a few more questions and then they're like, okay, yeah. everything looks okay. We're going to start the test now. Yeah, but before that, you have to make sure that mm -hmm. your mobile, your phone is ready. Yep. Okay. The camera will it have has to, to be, be like this. Yep. Put down. Then here. <laughs> You'll have yeah, to go so down have, here. You really have so to So they can see this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and your face at the same yeah, time. So, so you have to position yourself and make sure that the in's representative can yeah. also see the kit. I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I took some videos of our actual testing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So close the left side of the card and keep the card face up on the table. Okay. Okay. In a moment, we will activate your timer. The test card must stay flat and stationary. Do not touch the test card during this time. A certified guide will be with you in 15 minutes to assist you in interpreting your results. I'll play an informational video while you wait. You are free to move away from the screen, but make sure you are back before the 15 minutes are up. I will start your timer now. Thank you for choosing Imed. Thank you. Okay. QR code. I'm guessing this one? Yes. Let me see. Oh, I have to turn my phone around. My phone is now facing the yes, other direction. Yeah, you have to show me the QR code at the back camera. The system will automatically switch the camera this time. Okay. So please um, help me scan the QR code. If you can see the green square, that's the scanner. So keep it close. Just the QR code first. It's not focusing. Hold on. Can you push it closer, please? Oh, it's kind of blurry. Can you hold the card instead and try to scroll yep. in front of the camera forward and then slowly backwards? Hold the camera focused. No, it's not focusing. There's a shadow. Can you um, tell your view hole should be on your right side? Like that? Yeah, but again, keep it flat like the one in the picture. And you get to place your phone in the table. Okay. Keep it flat. Try to fold backward to help you flood in the card. Fold the card backward, please. Okay. Now you have just the, the two holes should be on your right side, okay? Yes, that's correct. Now remove the cup and hold the bottle vertically half an inch over the top hole. Remove the, the cup. Do you mean yes. do you mean um, this this thing, ma'am? Do you need me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Add six drops in the top hole, the smaller hole. In both the top and the bottom hole? Just the top hole. Sir. Just the top Add hole, six okay. Drops in the top hole, the smaller hole. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to swap each nostril beginning with your left. No, 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 don't touch it. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I'm not touching it. Take the swab out without touching the phone tip. You have the swab with you, right? You have the bottle, the test card, and the swab. Take the swab out without touching the phone tip. Oh, this thing. You mean no, this? That one. This? The swab, yes, please. Okay. Yes, there is a notch that you can use in opening the swab. Make sure not to touch the foam tip to avoid contamination. Okay. We're going to swab each nostril beginning with your left at least to the front of the camera. I need to see it. Mm, okay. You insert the swab at least half an inch into the left nostril and rotate five times against the side of your nostril. Okay. On the left side. Left side right here. And next. Yes. Left side five times, right side five times. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's right. do the same for the right nostril. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Now keep the card on the table and thread the swab through the bottom hole until visible into the top hole. You have to insert the swab into the bigger hole. Okay. Put it in the bottom hole. 
and yes. slide until visible in the top. Until it's visible at the top. Okay. Okay. Do, do can I you move it to your um, left so I can see it, please? Move it to your left so I can see it. Now throw the swap shaft three times to the right and leave it in the card. Roll it three times to the right. One, two, three, and leave it in there. Okay. And now peel off, peel, it, peel off the adhesive liner from the right edge of the test card. The peel this from off. The right edge, the right ESPs. And lastly, close the left side of the card and keep the card face up on the table. Peel this off. In a moment, off. we will activate the timer. The test card must stay flat and stationary. Do not touch the test card during this time. A certified guide will be with you in 15 minutes to assist in interpreting your results. I'll play an informational video while you wait and you're free to move away from the screen, but make sure you're back before the 15 minutes are off. Keep this angle so we can move. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Thank you for waiting. My name is Malela. I will be your secretary guide. Together, we will interpret and record your results. Okay. Hold your test card in front of your device camera to scan the QR code and so I can see the result. Okay. I gotta flip my phone around here for you. Okay. So I'm opening this up for you. Uh, can you please lift your test card and show it to me clearly? Okay, let me put it down on the ground then. Okay, hold on. Okay, then, thank you. There are three possible outcomes of that test. Positive, negative, and invalid. Okay. Please look at the result window on the front of the card and look carefully for pink lines. The line in the sample window can be very tight. Do you see two pink horizontal lines? I see... Okay, I, I need to put this down so you can see it, or I can... Here's here are the COVID like symptoms. Contact your healthcare provider or local state health department. Okay. I'm submitting your results as negative, so Okay. Dispose of the card, proper bottle and swab in your trash. The test is now complete. Information about the test will be sent to your email. Your test results and a digital pass will be sent to your Navica app within fifteen minutes. Okay. I'm submitting your results as negative, so Okay. For any further assistance, you can contact customer support. I'm sharing your customer support link in the chat box. Goodbye, and thank you for choosing EMIT. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So as you can see through the process, I know that the video clips, maybe they're not 100% complete, but we're giving you a general idea of what the process is. It's very easy. It's it, you just follow the directions of what the the person on the other side of the phone is basically telling you to do. Don't make mistakes. Make sure that your phone is in a good location where you can see everything clearly. Don't bump your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I bumped my phone. <laughs> Um, we had to redo everything again, um, but thankfully the representative saw all the steps and it was verified, so yeah. it was okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's it, Like I said, it's a lot of just waiting to make sure that the process and the chemicals work with the swab and you get your negative result. They email you a, an and official statement saying that you don't have anything. After and the 15 minute yeah. testing, they'll send an email to you with yeah. your result. Yeah. If you are a frequent traveler, try this guys. Mm -hmm. This is very easy and yeah. cheap. We, we really recommend it. It's very affordable. It's, it's completely worth it. So thanks for watching. Till next time, safe travels everybody. Bye.